Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about just how powerful is the Scarlet Witch. I will only be talking about her in the comics. This is information that I gathered from the comics, solo series, and references including from trusted sources. The reason to why I wanted to do this video is because I am just sick and tired of watching videos debating about the Scarlet Witch and the person clearly has little knowledge of what they're debating about. So now that I cleared things up, I want to say that I won't be going into the lore or backstory of the Scarlet Witch, because we all should know she's been retconned to not be related to Magneto, etc. Now let's dive in. In the Avengers West Coast issue 61, the Scarlet Witch is the main nexus being of the Marvel 6, 1, 6 main reality. Stated by Itao, or the Watcher, Wanda is the nexus to all realities, all timelines, and all divergences across creation. Wanda is also the nexus being of all magical universal energies in the Marvel main continuity, which is the Marvel mainstream continuity, the Prime Universe 6, 1, 6 is vast with its already infinite timelines, dimensions, worlds and artifacts etc., which Wanda is the anchor, the focal point, cornerstone, conduit, the center point of that, which all magical things and magical energies flows through, and the universal energies of magic. Because of this, Wanda is a conduit for powers, she is all magic, magical things, the power of magical beings and even magical energies across infinite timelines, dimensions, worlds and artifacts at her fingertips and the life force is just a small part of her powers. Not even the combined power of 10,000 Nexus being was a match for a weak and inexperienced Nexus being Wanda, which Nexus beings are beings with the power to affect the universe. Wanda's life force powers alone was said that even pre-retconned beyond her is nothing to compare to its power and the life force is just a small percent compared to the infinite untapped power Wanda has. Which her powers are the first primordial magical plus cosmic force and first happenstance that gave possibility and the spark to the Marvel continuity and creation itself as a whole, which that power even existed before the beginning of everything even the imagination, concepts and perception. Yes, that was a lot, which is why we have a lot to unpack on just how powerful is Scarlet Witch, that almost everyone seems to know very little of and downplay. In fact, even Eternity knows how much of a threat Wanda really is, even her children will be so powerful to stand among the greatest forces of the universe beings like Infinity, Living Tribunal, Lord Chaos and Master Order, etc., her children will be able to rock the cosmos itself. She is the cornerstone for the entire multiverse, as stated by the Watcher that through her, all futures can be totally safeguarded. It also allows her the ability to affect the probability, and thus the future, able to alter the flow of the universal time stream. As stated she can affect not only her own universe, but many universes across the cosmos, meaning there's no limit to what she can affect as every universe is her playground. She is a keystone to all realities and her existence is crucial to the coherence of the multiverse. In No Road Home, Scarlet Witch is stated to be the only mortal connected to the House of Ideas, which in other words means the House of Stan Lee, aka the one above all dwelling place, it's where he makes the comics in Marvel. The House of Ideas contains infinite and all comic plots, ideas, and characters. It's the core of all of reality, and the birthplace of all that was, that is, and all that yet may be. It is the dwelling space of the one above all. In Empire, X-Men Issue 1. It was explained to Wanda that she is an acausality. The existence of both Wanda and her powers acts in eternal opposition to the erasure of both her powers and Wanda herself. She's unrestrained by conventional cause and effect. As explained by Stephen Strange, Wanda, including her own powers simply cannot be erased from her own history itself. In the Trials of Magneto, Wanda transcended time. Wanda isn't always omnipresent, but she did basically merge with her past, future, and present therefore technically omnipresent. Because of her abilities, Wanda's perception of time is that the past, present, and future is all the same to her. She can see the past, present, and future at the same time and manipulate the directions of them. In the Trials of Magneto, it was revealed that Wanda cannot be truly killed, and also I want to say that this will be important later on to why this makes Wanda eternal. 
But back to what I was saying Wanda herself claims she's beyond such things as death. Stating to Magneto that she's too out of reach for such trivial things. She stated that death itself would never grasp her, in fact, when Wanda dies, Wanda cannot truly die, Wanda embodies an expression of the void, she will come back from the void itself, as shown in the trials of Magneto she creates her body out of nothing from scratch, the very blood, and internal and external organs, as stated here. What it's talking about is basically like Dr. Manhattan when his atom got separated but his consciousness remained, except Wanda can recreate her own very consciousness and everything ground up, from nothing. These are all just small parts of what makes Scarlet Witch so powerful. Even Deathpool said that the Scarlet Witch is the most dangerous Avenger that ever lived and the Eye of Agamotto shows the candidates for the next Sorcerer Supreme, the Scarlet Witch being one of them. Enough dilly-dallying, let's get to the point and talk about Scarlet Witch powers, my favorite part to talk about, it will also go into feats and skills in many different categories. I'll talk about her powers. Probability manipulation, Wanda's probability manipulation is stated, Wanda, breaks the laws of physics, concepts, and scientific absolute, she can turn the impossible into absolute certainty vice versa. This means there's nothing Wanda can't do, literally, anything can happen as it's stated. For you to truly comprehend this, if the enchantments on Thor's hammer make it impossible for her to lift it, she can just, make it possible, it's that ridiculous, it's literally a hack. There's no absolute limit to what she can do with her probability manipulation, as it's stated she breaks the laws of physics, concepts, and scientific absolute. As I said at the beginning of the video that people who debate about Scarlet Witch as little knowledge of how powerful she is. Most of them think she can only affect the universe or multiverse because of the life force, because it seems mostly the only thing they know is House of M, but with her probability manipulation, she can literally reshape the universe at will on an atomic level. But that's far from what she can do, she made the laws of the multiverse stop working, mid-fight, just because it put her at an inconvenience. These are fundamental laws written into Marvel canon, even the Watcher and the Time Variance Authority adhere to them. Nothing can be immune to her powers, because her power breaks the possibility of immunity or resistance. Wanda's powers can bypass magic itself, she can manipulate or reshape the laws of magic on a fundamental level. What makes Wanda's possibility manipulation virtually omnipotent is that it is shown to be above Nick's darkness. Nick's darkness enveloped all of creation, eradicating all light across the Omniverse, the darkness was so overwhelming that Monica couldn't be in her light form, because there was no light. The darkness even reached the far shore, which is the edge of everything, and the farthest point in creation. Yet Wanda created a light that not even this darkness could overcome, Wanda was shown to remain unaffected by the darkness even at the front doors of the House of Ideas. But what Wanda did was creating light out of possibilities despite all of creation being consumed by Nyx's darkness, leaving her, Wanda, and the one above all to be the only two sources of light across all creation. To fully understand why Wanda was above Nyx's darkness, one has to understand that Wanda transcends possibility. The idea of something being impossible is meaningless due to the fact that Wanda's power controls the very fabric of possibility itself. That is why it is specifically Wanda's control over probabilities and possibilities that was shown overcoming Nyx's darkness. Essentially, if Nyx's darkness makes it impossible for light to exist, Wanda can simply make it possible. So now that it's clear that Wanda's light was made out of possibilities, let's take a look at the one above all light. After being inside the House of Ideas, Vision described to Wanda what he saw when he was in the presence of the One Above All. He said he saw the light of pure possibility. Wanda probability powers doesn't just end there, she can also view how different probabilities play out and manipulate all alternate timelines simultaneously, she has resistance to probability manipulation as she can counter probability fields with her own powers, as well as reducing the effects from them and temporarily block them. Another feats of Wanda probability manipulation that show just how powerful and ridiculous her powers are, when she amplified Quicksilver's speed to where he could run beyond the limit of speed itself, moving beyond time, space, and reality itself. She then amped herself, immeasurable, in the Heroes Reborn universe, Wanda absorbed the speed of Quicksilver after his death. With it, she raced Blur. Blur was able to outrace death across the entire multiverse, run through higher dimensions, sink out of time, and outrun the very embodiment of reality itself, eternity.
So yeah, maybe try another excuse instead of saying Wanda's speed is slow or reaction time is slow when her speed is literally immeasurable. As she can react to and amplify herself beyond the limit of speed itself, moving beyond time, space, and reality into race blur, who outruns death across the entire multiverse, run through higher dimensions, and sink out of time. Now let's talk about Wanda's other powers. So going back to Wanda's true nature as a Nexus being, in Children Crusade, Wanda's life force is a power that was so powerful that Dr. Doom stated that the Beyonder is nothing compared to Wanda's life force. The Beyonder used to be the one and only omnipotent god of Marvel until being retconned. But back to what I was saying, this isn't some baseless accusation as Dr. Doom used to have the power of the Beyonder, pre retcon Beyonder, and still he stated that the Beyonder is nothing compared to Wanda's life force, so let that sink in. It was described by Dr. Von Doom as the life force itself, a reality-altering power that is the power of creation itself, the power to make and unmake reality, a power that is connected to the Creator which is the one above all, in fact, Doom stated that his mind was merging with the Creator's. In Omega Darkhold, Wanda's life force was retconned to actually be a part of her powers, to those who believe that it was an amp. With the life force, Doom could literally make the Phoenix Force gene as Herald. Wanda's words, will, and thoughts literally equal reality, she can reshape reality by a single act of will, she can do literally anything she desires. Wanda has control over all levels of matter, reality, and time, she can simultaneously affect both the past, present, and future even the people's memories of the past, present, and future casually, can even create pocket reality slash dimensions. She treats all of reality like Tetris blocks and casually alters the very building blocks of reality to see a point in time. Scarlet Witch said no more mutants. This massively altered reality on an omniversal scale, weaving through all universes, multiverses, and timelines. The spell wove itself through all creation, to the point that it's impossible to see where it begins and where it ends. She changes reality to the point where realities seem to never change at all and her magic affected billions of souls over worlds and dimensions even magic itself. She removed 99% of mutants in the entire multiverse, her spell was over billions of souls, over all worlds and dimensions, Doctor Strange said that if they try to undo what Wanda did, it will lead to the destruction of all of it, another evidence that shows how effortless Wanda's control over existence and creation itself, is how Wanda's literal thoughts literally equal reality is when Emma Frost explained that one blink and she can erase us from existence, literally without even knowing she did it, and just as easily bring literally anything back into existence especially when she brought Hawkeye who she killed, bringing him back into existence and after being betrayed, shot in the back from his arrow, Wanda just as easily willed him out of existence, making him cease to exist again. Even without a single thought just with an act of will, her will literally affects the multiverse even without putting her conscious decision, which shows she's not even using all of her power, yet she controls creation slash existence itself, both the concept of life and death, becomes meaningless to her. She even forcibly summoned a cosmic entity, Dormammu into the mind of Charles Xavier's mind to fight Doctor Strange. Her No More Mutant spell even pushed the Phoenix Force back, all of reality was warped to the White Hot Room for a moment, the White Hot Room is the heart of the Phoenix and as such, it is dimensionally transcendent, beyond all space and time, and exists as the core of creation, she literally accidentally releases a chaotic wave of temporal energies, Chaos Wave is described to be a pan-dimensional power of beyond that tore open a rift that destroyed infinite dimensions, universes, and reality, breaking down the very barriers between universes. The chaos wave spread to the center point of creation, it was described to spread to the farthest reaches of imagination, to the ascension itself, and would cause order and chaos simply, cease and would turn all creation, amorphous conceptual blob. Chaos wave if not stopped all reality will devolve into nothingness and that all creation is at stake. Her chaos wave destroyed a universe on such levels that Marvel Girl and Psylocke were transported into the white hot room, destroyed infinite realities and spatial planes between them. To the point where it reached Otherworld, brought Mad Jim Jaspers, one of the most powerful reality warpers, back to life. According to Roma, the Chaos Wave will keep moving along, destroying all of creation in the process, even affecting the centered planes to the sublimity and even the ascension. The Chaos Wave spread to the center point of creation, which is multi-eternity's soul and heart of the Omniverse, it was crushed, and was even seen affecting and killing multi-eternity.
As explained by Mad Jim Jasper, Chaos Wave was confirmed to be spreading around the Omniverse, which literally affects the entirety of the Marvel continuum destroying it and rearranging it. Megan used the power of the beyond to barely stop the Chaos Wave. Wanda No More Mutant spell was so powerful that it acted as a yin and yang to the Phoenix Force which is supported by both Wanda contributing half the power required to erase the phoenix from existence. Now, for the exciting part, let's talk about Wanda's main powers. Chaos Magic, another one of Wanda's powers that have been retconned, in the Trials of Magneto, the origin of Chaos Magic has been changed. Thon did not create Chaos Magic, in fact, Chaos Magic has always existed, but it was now soon revealed that Wanda's Chaos Magic is the oldest form of magic, it is the very first magic. It gives spark to creation and life itself, it is the very first primordial magical and cosmic force in Marvel, the very first primordial glint of cosmic understanding and happenstance, it is the beginning of everything. Chaos magic is infinite possibilities, everything exists, because there's a possibility for that, because of chaos magic, chaos magic it's not limited to good or evil, it's the possibility of both, neither, and everything in between. It is not destructive or constructive it's beyond such things, it is everything. Creation can be destroyed, but chaos magic still remains. It predates all the concepts of existence itself, death, life, time, space, nothingness, imagination, and perception. So basically what it's saying is that the Scarlet Witch's powers are what gave possibility to Marvel, creation, and life itself to even exist. Why this makes Wanda truly eternal is the fact that creation can be destroyed, but chaos magic still remains, Wanda cannot truly ever not exist as chaos magic is eternal. According to Dr. Doom, Wanda's power is beyond all comprehension, just to tap into a silver of it, can do great things. With a mere fraction of the Scarlet Witch's power, Dr. Doom was able to simply wish Cassie Lang back to life, it is stated that, with this fraction of the Scarlet Witch's power, Dr. Doom was capable of remaking reality itself. And confirmed with just a fraction of Scarlet Witch's power, Dr. Doom, who is one of the most powerful magic users in Marvel would be able to repair and fix his own life with just a mere fraction of Wanda's powers. Dr. Doom needed a large amount of time and preparation to even face Wanda, yet, even with all of the time, help, and preparation that Dr. Doom and his team had, they were completely unable to stop Wanda when she arrived. Wanda controls all of reality, she's been confirmed to be the few beings who can kill the Phoenix Force, she can reshape reality and the universe to the point where she can bring back the dead on a whim, she can wipe beings from existence, disintegrate others, she has control over all of matter, control the building blocks of reality and having control over all of matter, the very quantum mechanics of the universe, all planes of existence, all space and time, conceptual, is all powerful, the laws of time, space, life, and death practically becomes inapplicable to her. She can manipulate or reshape the laws of magic on a fundamental level. Wanda remade the world mid-fight, peeling away the fabric of the world as though it were tissue paper. If not stopped, all of the Avengers and X-Men would have been written out of history and all of their existence would have ceased right then and there within a matter of seconds. Just simple as a cry, Wanda's voice was so powerful and incomprehensible level, that it was heard and projecting through the fabric of all that is and all that ever was. Her cry reached so far in fact, that it reached the concept and edges of life and death itself and was reaching the incomprehensible limit reaching a place beyond space itself and it was as simple as a cry. Wanda directly overpowered Lore, a being who was tearing through the multiverse and devouring thousands of worlds. Lore admitted she needed the combined power of over 10,000 Nexus beings and powers of 10,000 worlds to face Wanda, and Wanda still overpowered all of that power. Victorious with the power of Cosmic was nothing compared to Wanda. She completely wiped the floor with Magneto, Doctor Doom, and Quicksilver all at the same time. If not stopped, her power was going to plunge all of Latveria into chaos. Even untouchable things like abstract concepts, Wanda have conceptual manipulation, she is able to manipulate and reshape concepts itself and can control even abstract entities who embodies those concepts. She overpowered the concepts of order and chaos, forcibly rejoining them and restoring balance to the universe. With this, she recreated the in-betweener, the separator of actualities and barrier between dichotomies. Who the in-betweener represents the concepts of all concepts. 
She matched Kaluo, who has defeated classic Doctor Strange multiple times, Kaluo was on the verge of being turned into a frog by Wanda's magic. Wanda's telepathic abilities is limitless, in fact, when facing off against a heavily amped telepath, Wanda mentally fend off the snake crown across endless dimensions and worlds, which is an incomprehensible telepathic feat that I haven't seen anyone did before. She can also cause a body to experience effects much later on in time, like causing its natural stress, fatigue, and withering in 5,000 years to occur in a matter of seconds. Wanda holds an unfathomable control over all existence, really, the only limit would be her belief. Even so, her powers and reality warping powers can alter reality on a single act of will, which shows just how effortless her control over reality. The perks of her abilities would automatically shield her from unforeseen attacks, usually where she isn't looking, even so far to have mental barrier to protect her from telepathic attacks making her resistance to some level of telepath users on the level of Charles Xavier. While she originally struggled to control her power, many still think she is mentally unstable, have a mental illness, can't control her powers, have weak magical and combat experience or popularly known as a glass cannon. But let me debunk these claims, as she proved them wrong. Stop, using that she's mentally ill argument, do your research, because in the trials of Magneto, Wanda, after merging with her past, present, and future, she explained, this is healing, I am accepting and forgiving and reuniting myself, she's whole now, she no longer suffers from mental illness. Wanda has extensive experience fighting with groups like the Avengers and the Brotherhood of Mutants, having learned to control the nature of her powers, she's proved to be a master of magic honing her skills with the help of Agatha Harkness. She's picked up formal combat training from the likes of Captain America and Hawkeye, making her very skilled in fight and martial arts, as she's been able to physically tangle with Lore, a Nexus being who is tearing through entire dimensions and universes. Wanda has shown mastery over weapons and close combat fighting, able to think swiftly in battle against multiple opponents, even taking the lead with Captain Marvel to create weapons to use in battle showing Captain Marvel how experienced she is. Able to create energy weapon construct easily and use them in fights, she creates a magical shield and sword to fight a horde of monsters. Like Psylocke, Wanda creates a magical knife to swiftly and easily take and defeated a group of demons all at the same time in the span of two panels. Which sight, which allows her to see things that normal people don't, Wanda can see invisible beings, magical auras around them, as well as who they truly are. It allows Wanda to sense not only power but also someone's personality, intentions, and true nature. It can also function as a danger sense. Wanda Maximoff and Pietro Maximoff were genetically engineered by the High Evolutionary when they were babies, which means Wanda is actually superhuman, so it makes total sense why she is more durable in the comics, it's a misconception from the MCU that she is a glass cannon. She tanks a magical blast from Doctor Doom, which Doom is stated to be one of the most powerful sorcerers in existence, she tanks a hit of a point-blank magical bolt shot by Emerald Warlock and comes back without a scratch. A weakened Wanda forcibly resisted attacks from an abstract entity Chaos who has been said to be more powerful than both the abstract entity Lord Chaos and Chaos King slash Amatsumi Kaboshi, who destroyed 98% of the Marvel multiverse, and Chaos has also been scaled on par to Eternity in Nightmare. But a weakened Wanda still easily tanks Chaos and shields herself from further attacks while also beating Chaos. Later on, she even single handedly, literally, powerful enough to hold back Eternity's attacks with one hand, tanked a hit from Necrodamus, a being who nearly killed Namor and Hulk, survived a crash landing in a rocket. She even tanked a hit from a bullet of black matter, which is confirmed to be the bullet that shattered the Rainbow Bridge of Asgard, and is confirmed by Wanda to be world shattering energy that if hit you'll get vaporized, but Wanda still tanked it. She tanks a hit from Captain America's shield to the back of her head and resisted existential erasure. But what set Wanda apart is that even though she is connected to the House of Ideas, at the front doors of the House of Ideas slash home of the one above all, Wanda was able to resist and shielded her team from the light of creation originating from the one above all himself. The House of Ideas contains all comic plots, ideas, and characters. It is the birthplace of all that was, all that is, and all that yet may be. In shielding against its power, Wanda not only held back the force of physical creation, but the meta-narrative force of all comic stories ever written. This is more supported after the writers confirmed this. Since the One Above All and Living Tribunal are also ideas in the House of Ideas, this also includes she shielded against them too.